I started, uh, I felt like a bit skeptical, but then by the end of it, I felt incredible. The framing for everything that we've done is giving the boys tools that they can then use um, to support themselves and, and perform at their best. My name is Jamie Clements. I'm a breathwork coach and facilitator. I work with individuals, with groups, with businesses, with teams and athletes to help them understand the power of breathwork when it comes to managing their relationship with stress, their performance, their psychological health, their physical health, and everything in between. Firstly, I think the big thing for me in, in sessions like this is, is really working with the skepticism in the room. I think there's a natural skepticism broadly, but also specifically when I work with, with teams and, and with men, I think there's always this element of, of slight skepticism of, is this stuff really you know, what people say it is? And so hopefully through the applied kind of felt experience of that and really trying out these lots of different techniques, they will get a real sense of that. And then once we've kind of gotten past that first step, it's about having tools and techniques that they can use for themselves, you know, outside of being in a room together, but also outside of me being there as well to guide them through it, to go, okay, how am I feeling? Maybe I'm feeling a bit off in the lead up to a match. What can I use to support myself? What technique can I use to, to calm my nerves, to, to find a bit of energy, to focus myself as I go into a game? Okay, we're now just going to start to engage with the breath a little bit more actively. So we're going to start to slow the breath down a little bit, breathing in and out of the nose. Focusing on breathing fully, breathing deeply. Two, one, breathe in. Hold at the top. Sigh out of the mouth. Come into our second round, deep breath in through the nose. As we move into this first round, you might start to notice some physical sensation. I think when it comes to um, sport in any capacity, especially as you get up through the, the tiers, we're really looking at increases in pressure and stress, both psychological and physiological stress. So it's higher exertion, but it's also more pressure to perform. And so we're looking at how we can use the breath to help the, the guys manage their response to stress, manage their nervous system. So the, the big part of, of breath work is how the breath interacts with the nervous system and it acts as this bridge between mind and body. So when we're confronted by stress, when we're confronted by stress at home, before a game, in the lead up to a game, outside of games and in games themselves, how can we actually manage that relationship to stress? How can we manage our physical response, our mental and emotional response? So you feel your way into it, notice how that air hunger shows up, what that does in your mind. A lot of the use in, in elite sport, kind of in, in the professional realm is both in, in football, we see a lot of it, and also in combat sports. So I've worked with a lot of boxers and, and uh, mixed martial artists. But in, in football specifically, the one that everyone keeps coming back to is, is this video of Cristiano Ronaldo. So obviously during the game, he's sprinting, he's jogging. There's a lot of exertion going on in his system. Um, and when it comes to taking a set piece, so a free kick or a, a penalty, we look at his breathing and the way he breathes. He has this very classic run up that he does with his wide stance at the back of it. And you just see him take three to five big clearing breaths in the nose and out of the mouth. And what he's really looking here to do is to offload carbon dioxide so that he can then get back control of his breathing. And so what you see is that he takes these big breaths and then he goes back to very calm, very steady breaths so he can balance and reset physically, but also mentally so that he's focused and in the best possible headspace for what he's about to do. We're just going to take that first breath in, first breath out, pinch and hold, and then just walk into a good space. It doesn't need to be particularly quick or particularly slow. I think it was really good. Yeah, the guy's very good in what he does. Definitely, when I started, uh, I felt like a bit skeptical about what was he going to bring for me in terms of like recovering and uh, breathing aspects. But then by the end of it, I felt incredible. I felt it was really good. I think it's a lesson for everyone in how to make that extra 1% better and improving that extra 1% will definitely take us further. I thought it was really good. Uh, I think it was quite an uh, eye-opening experience, uh, really. Um, I don't really feel quite rejuvenated from it. I think it's going to be quite a powerful tool as well 
um, not just for me, but for the whole team moving forward. It's going to be quite a long, demanding season. Um, so I think if we can recover in the right ways and prepare our bodies um, both before and uh, do the right things after games and training, um, I think it's going to be uh, really, really powerful for us. We take one clearing, cleansing breath here together in through the nose. Small movements back into the body, the toes, fingers. Also, I think one of the most important things that we just spoke about in the session there is about recovery and rest. So we know the importance of recovery and sleep. And so it's really about how can we support ourselves post-game, post-training to really calm down and to sleep properly, to recover properly and to get really effective rest.